<coughs> all right guys it is tuesday we uh went to blue beacon got it a little cleaned up except for my tanks you already know tanks are dirty on both sides yeah from draining so uh yesterday i didn't film anything i don't know it's kind of tired but we did uh Damn, what did we do yesterday? Look at this tank. Tank is always the worst. Must be all kinds of mud in there. Yesterday, yesterday. Damn, my mind is blank. I got a horrible memory. Uh. Oh yeah, got some axles from uh, Waxahachie and took those down to McGregor. We've been there before. Paid 500 bucks. Pretty easy. A little slow getting loaded. There was quite a few trucks in line, but uh, we ended up getting loaded and uh, we made it down there. And on the way down there, we had some uh, crane mats pop up in Colleen. So we picked up Colleen going to Karen's and that paid 700. We barely made that delivery because that uh, loader wanted to go, but uh, you know, I called him and asked him to wait about 45 minutes. And uh, he really didn't want to, but he ended up, he ended up waiting. Uh, so yeah, so yesterday was a $1,200 day, <clears throat> you know, and then Sunday we, uh, did that crane mat low for 500 bucks. So looking pretty good. Start of the week. And today is Tuesday. We're here in, uh, Carrollton at Ryerson. We're gonna, we got a two stopper. We're getting steel. We're gonna have to tarp this. Uh, I don't know what all it is. I don't know if it's just all these, uh, rings or steel plate too, but we're gonna go to Garland and after garland i don't know how much you're getting we're going to take the uh, remaining portion of the load to waco and this pays 750. so i don't have any uh any return loads yet i wanted to kind of get this first one off in garland to kind of see my time before i you know decide to pick up a load because some places you know stop loading at two or three and i don't know don't want to be uh cutting it close so let me get this uh strapped up and uh, tarped up and I'll show you the load. All right, guys, this is the load. It is, uh, I get, I'm gonna say two bundles. So there's a stack and a stack of uh, steel plate that's going to Garland. And then those uh, steel rings, there's three uh, little stacks. So we gotta go to Garland first and then to Waco. Let's get it. Let me put my bungees up and then we're gonna hit the road. So we're at our second stop, this is Waco. I didn't film anything at uh, at Garland because there was two guys waiting on me to untarp, unstrap, and they had uh, two forklifts. So there's weight on me. By the time I would have grabbed my phone, it could have looked like this. But yeah, I just untarp, unstrap, we'll let them know that we're here. Uh, they're gonna come out in about five minutes. They said there is a first flight. He got a full load. I had a full load, but it was a two stopper. So his pay six fifty. Mine pays 750. It's not too bad, not too bad. But I did get a load. Uh, it's 19 minutes from here. And it's going uh, to Denton. Got to pick up today, deliver tomorrow. It's uh, concrete panels. It's picking up out of Elmont. So they said we can deliver at 8 o'clock in the morning, which kind of sucks. It's, that's late. That's 8 o'clock in the afternoon to me. But it is what it is. Maybe... We shouldn't be too far. Maybe we can get a load from uh, from uh, Meritex. So we'll see. I don't know if uh, the job sites are dry enough, but if they're not, we'll just have to find another load. So we got a little time. But yeah, uh, it's not too bad. Not too bad run. You know, 750 plus the uh, 600 that you know I'm picking up in Elmont. truck looks pretty damn clean you know what i'm saying just my tanks no way my tanks but other than that i mean going down the road you don't notice it you just see a little shine a little black shine a black betty right here oh wait she's looking good come on black betty all right check back here a little bit
SM drivers in chanclas, wearing sandals or flip flops. Oh, wait. You wouldn't make it in flatbed. So they had me move, move a little more, more back, a little more back. He's got to move a couple stacks to get to my stack. They had me back up right here in this mud. I'm not going to tighten my straps down right there. Look. Oh, wait. Look at, look at her feet. They're all dirty. That's all right, though. It's going to rain uh, Thursday night, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you know, so I'm not really worried about it. So, yeah, we're going to get one more stack. And then we're ready to roll. I already got my paperwork. Normally they give you the paperwork. You got to drive all the way up to the office again. You got to look at it. But he said, no. As soon as you're loaded, just burn rubber. So that's what I'm going to do. Burn rubber. Try and get out of here. After this last stack. Here he is. Playing the Cupid Shuffle right here. These are like puzzle pieces. These go, these go to the bridges. You know, all the new bridges that they build. These are the panels that are, uh, I guess, under the concrete that they pour, that we drive on. You see down there, they got the uh, the beams. And they got them real big beams too, where uh, they uh, pull it with them pole trailers. It's like a trailer with just a pole in it and it goes a million miles long. Yeah, they make those here too. So, kind of cool, I guess. So that means we're going to be at a job site on the side of the highway somewhere getting unloaded. We'll try and show up early. Hopefully they'll uh, be there early. They said 8, but I'm going to get there at 7 and see what's going to, going down, you know. And come on, get to work, unload me. So we'll see. We are loaded. I moved out of the way to strap up so they can load that guy. So, yeah. Feels pretty good outside. It's breezy, it's cloudy, but it feels good. Pretty windy. My straps were kind of blowing. I'd hurry up, but we got it all done. So let's hit the road and head back to the yard. Maybe I can get home in a good, decent time and play with the kids outside. Oh wait, I'm excited. Let's roll.
guys, we're back at the shop, yard, whatever you want to call it. So I need to fix this. I don't know if I told you guys, but she got a little broke. She's only got one screw. The other screw fell out. So it's all cracked right here. I'm sure it loosened it up and that's why the screw fell out, but I'm a ghetto rig it. I got some uh, JB Weld. I'm going to squirt all in that little hole and put that screw in there. Let it uh, set for about six hours, I think is what it says, and then um, put my nut on there with the log washer. So that's what that is. But yeah, truck still looks pretty clean. Tires are a little dirty, but that's all right. She's a work truck. I'm going to deliver this in the morning. I called the guy. He sent me a drop pin so I know exactly where to go. And he said it'd be there about 7.30. So I'm gonna show up at seven though. Hopefully uh, he'll be on time and ready to rope. But yeah, look at this. Look at that little evidence. Oh wait, it looks like some doo-doo paper. Hey, all I gotta say is when you gotta go, you gotta go. Oh, there's another evidence. Oh, hey, y'all see a restroom run here? I don't know who did this, but it's probably because there's no restroom around here. When you got to go, you got to go. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for hanging with me. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. And uh, let's see what we can't get into tomorrow.